Welcome to Painting with Laura. Today we are going to paint a saguaro. So grab your paintbrush and a smock and let's get painting. The colors that you will need for the cactus are Kelly Green, Forest Green, Limeade or a Yellow Green, Yellow and White. I recommend for the background to use colors such as King's Gold, Harvest Orange, Lilac Mist or Light Purple, Cloudless, Sky Blue, Award Blue, or Tuscan Teal. However, you can use whatever color you like. Other supplies that you will need are a paintbrush, I recommend a half inch flat brush, a paint palette or paper plates, a sturdy cup of water, good paper towels, a canvas that's 9 by 12 inches, and a colored pencil. Using a colored pencil, we are going to now sketch the cactus onto the canvas. Using a golden ratio of one third, we're going to divide the canvas with having the body of the saguaro one third inside the middle of the canvas and going up to the top third of the canvas. So you're going to sketch up and then pull your line over at the third mark and back down. Copy this for the other arms, having the left arm a little higher than the right arm. Once your sketch is done, you can start on the background. I chose King's Gold for my color today, but I can already tell that I'm going to need a couple layers of the color on this canvas because you can still see the brush strokes and the canvas underneath. I like to do my backgrounds first so that my subject is always the top layer on my painting. It helps just define it a little bit more. Once you feel comfortable with the background, we can start on the cactus color. I'm using Kelly Green or a medium green to fill in the base color of the cactus. If your lines are not straight, that's okay. Cactuses have bumps. A chubby cactus is a happy cactus. That means that they got lots of water to grow that year. So if you have a little bit of bumps, that's totally fine. Before starting on the details, we're going to let the canvas dry for about 10 minutes. Don't worry, the acrylic dries pretty fast. Make sure not to get paint into the metal bracket holding your bristles. This can stiffen your paintbrush and so it's not as easy to use the next time you paint. If you're not liking how something's looking, go ahead and paint over it and start again. Push and pull the paint however you want to be able to be in control and to make the painting look how you want. I wanted a little bit more light on this arm since it's closer to my imaginary sun lighting my saguaro. So I've pushed and pulled my paint to be able to get a different type of shadow than I initially put on. For the spines, I'm going to use white and light green mixed with the medium green to be able to get the spines. I put a little bit of paint on my brush and then take a little bit off because I want to make sure that I can use that flat brush to my advantage to create small strokes. You can do strokes that are pulled vertically from the top to the bottom or like I do where I use more of a stamping technique and just use the tip of the brush to be able to make little bumps here and there along the spine. As I am doing the body of the cactus, when I reach the part where the arm meets the cactus, I am just going to leave some space to kind of have a hint that there's a shadow right there. And then I continue to pull my line straight down from the top of the cactus with a slight curve on the edges. Once satisfied with the darkness of the spines, I'm going to start putting some definition for where the flowers are going to be and where the buds are going to be. I'm only going to put some buds on the left arm and on the top of the cactus because sorrel cactuses don't actually have flowers on all their arms. And then I'm just going to do a light brush to pull that definition down into the top of the cactus so it looks like it's connected and not just sitting on top. Onto the flowers. I'm keeping these simple by just doing white and yellow, no shadow. I'm using more of a stamping technique between the corner and flat of the brush. I also want some texture of the paint, so I'm using paint that's a little older, or you can just add a little bit more paint to the brush. Remember to keep an eye on how much paint you have on your brush though to make sure that it's not dripping down on your floor or on your clothes. And then just stamp sort of in a star formation considering 
which direction the flower is facing. For the top body of the cactus, my left flower is facing a little further away from the audience, and the top flower is facing directly at the audience, so it's a lot bigger. And then the right flower is just slightly open, facing towards the audience. Once your painting is all dry, choose a great spot to hang it up and enjoy your beautiful saguaro.